Gronish is in the mo on the most basic level. Gronish is about Zoe going to college and the adventures that ensue. She is the oldest of the Johnson siblings and has never been quiet about being ready to be independent. And now she finally is. And it comes with a lot more challenges than I think she expected. But what I love is that pretty immediately she meets a great group of people and um, each person is, I mean, as many casts are, so different in their own right. And so it leads to plenty of fun stories. <laughs> She's always been the one in the Johnson family who's been pretty calm. She's always had it together. There's really never been many moments in which you've seen Zoe unsure of herself. Um, and most cases, she's the one that's coming in the family like, what in the world are you guys doing? You, you guys are insane. Um, in which case, like from the first episode on, you kind of finally see that she not only has the vulnerability to be unsure of herself, but she's finally put in an environment that is so unlike anything she's ever been in. And she has to basically figure out who she is in this new context. He's known me forever. And what I love is that not only do I feel cared for on this set, but he really it is so intentional in putting together any of his projects from the writer's room to the cast and crew it's so inclusive um, and i've been able to be a real collaborator on this which has been amazing it's been such a fun process being a part of the collaboration and the creation of this show and also just ultimately trusting his vision because Zoe is in Yara and it's nice to figure out where we're gonna make those differentiations, see where she grows. My character Aaron is um, very pro-black, uh, just about any historical figure. He knows their bio, their age, what happened to them, how they died. Um, but yeah, he's very for the cause and is very woke and wants to stand up for what he believes in, very political, politically driven. Um, and yeah, and he has some feelings for Zoe a little bit, but you know, they're figuring it out. I don't know, I still don't know how it'll end, but um, I'm excited. It kind of goes back and forth with them too. I think they will love the writing because we have similar writers and it's just so funny, so cleverly written, and it's so inf informational, if that's even a, a thing. But I definitely feel like uh, I've learned a lot just from reading the scripts and saying the things that we, we have to say. I've just learned, uh, yeah, I've just been educated about a lot of things I didn't know about. So I think that'll be what Blackish, that's why I feel like people love the show Blackish, because they're like, oh, I didn't know, really? Oh, that's how this. So that's kind of what this show does as well. Anna is um, Cuban American, first generation, born in Miami, and uh, she was raised Catholic Republican, and um, she leaves home and goes to LA and goes to college, and she is uh, rooming with Zoe. And it's uh, an interesting relationship at first. Um, she, you know, comes here not having any family, which I know a lot of people have experienced, especially in LA. There, I, I hardly meet anyone from here. So you come in brand new, excited, and you're just trying to fit in. So I think, you know, you slowly start getting to know her the more the episodes go by. But at first, she's just really trying to fit in and makes a lot of mistakes in the process. But they're fun mistakes, first mistakes. I think I'm just excited for them to see how we grow up. I mean, I think for the older audience, it'll be a fun memory from like back when they were in college because this show's a lot about first, first relationships, first, you know, alcoholic experience, first party, you know? And so I think it'll be a fun thing. And for the younger audience, I think it's just a, an exciting thing to look forward to, like when they get older and they go to college. So it, it's a fun show to be a part of. And like, you know, I, th I love that there's so much humor in like the first errors in life. I play Nomi. She's um, pretty wild and free-spirited, but also really laid back, which is a fun kind of dichotomy to play. Um, and she's, she's a big partier, <laughs> which is also fun. I, I mean, hopefully what someone would enjoy watching the show is just kind of seeing themselves in the stories, which I think is, it's hard not to. Everything is so um, relatable from one point or another because we kind of cover so many different takes on it and viewpoints and opinions and in the same way that Blackish does it there's never a right answer it's just this is one viewpoint this is a this is b this is c this is d and there's never um kind of a a neat bow that's tied at the end we play twin track stars mm -hmm. on the show and it's very fun because it shows the journey of us trying to find who we are and like the people who we present to the world and the people who we really are. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun how that relates to our true life as well. And it's, it's cool how you can grow in both the TV show 
and also in real life. The way we present ourselves is very bubbly and hi, how are you? Very, you know, what society approves of and behind closed doors with our friends, we're just chilling, we're more of ourselves. You know, we're from like, we're from South Central California and we're like we're really real. We're not afraid to speak our minds and we're very close and we protect each other at all costs. She is extraordinary and I'm not just saying that. Like if I didn't know her and I met her, I would leave with the impression that she was an extraordinary woman. And um, I can't see what else she has in store for everybody, you know, and I, I, I can't wait to see um, what our next chapter is, you know, what this chapter here, I can't. Can't wait to see what this does for her. Hey, Vivek Shah, he's, uh, he's a really endearing, impulsive guy. You know, he, he, he's not exactly wears his, wears his heart on his sleeve. He's actually like pretty, he's pretty protective of himself and he likes to be really big. Vivek loves to be seen. He, he, um, and he loves to be heard. For grown to tackle college topics, it's because there is so many. There are so many topics. Like, um, I went through college myself, and everyone everyone experiences college differently. And I think that's a great thing about grown is that there are a, a bunch of characters, and we are all going to go through it really differently. I think... The, um, Gronish displays the college that 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 time, and it's why is it so interesting? Is because it's really confusing. It's really confusing, and people are looking for answers for what to do at that point in their life, right? And I think it's it, it, it'll be so compelling because um, of all the choices that you can make, and you're gonna see that people are gonna make good choices, people are gonna make bad choices, and. In, in college, it's kind of like magnified because that's going to push you in the direction of the rest of your life, right? So I think that's why it's going to be so interesting. He's the dean of students of the school. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, he just tries to, to keep things running uh, in a smooth way and deal with conflicts and, uh, you know, the stuff that a dean would do, kind of, yeah. For most people, when they go off to college, you know, they're still very young and they've just come out of high school. And uh, so it's, it's also for a lot of people, it's the first time they're away from home and, uh, you know, feeling this newfound independence. And so there, there's just so much to experience um, and learn, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I mean, so it's, it's, it's a time, it's a really wildly formative time in people's lives. And you make some of, you know, your lifelong friendships in college, hopefully, and um, some people meet their mates in college, and, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think for most people it's just, it's a really exciting time. Um, you know, there's just so much promise, and it's, life is unknown, and all, all possibilities are there, you know, anything. You can be anything. Um, the character's name is uh, Luca, <laughs> which is me. Um, but L Luca in the show is with a C, not a K. And he's kind of like a whatever f it kind of guy. Uh, doesn't really care, kind of wings it every time.
Rush. Premieres January 3rd on Freeform. I had been in college for three days. It hurts so bad. Please stop. So, this is it. College. You hear that? That's tomorrow happening today. Oh. Now that I'm finally on my own, I am learning college can be really dope. <laughs> but you'll totally pay for it later. Mom? And I'm learning frat parties aren't the best place to find true love. You know I can't let you walk home alone, right? Mike, you think you can walk around? Uh, sure. And that maybe, maybe, I don't actually know as much as I thought I did. You cannot let this one catastrophic moment control your life. You're better than that. You are so right. I am Zoe Johnson. Can we get some cups? They're calling you the cup bitch. Oh. <laughs> Grownish, the one-hour premiere event, Wednesday, January 3rd, everywhere you watch Freeform.